What type of motherfucker, you know, threaten their own granddaughter? Me and her arguing, having a whole different conversation. They got nothing to do with no babies. My daughter is not even there. I'm telling her about the damn dog. And she's trying to say, you're just angry in the morning. I know I'm angry because you're coming down here yelling at me about these damn dogs. You yell at everybody. You beat up all your friends. She said, yeah, and it could be your daughter too. Yo, grandchild. This is the banshee that, you know what I'm saying, that I was raised by. This is what I had to deal with. This is what I had to overcome. This is the person I had to still find a way to be a cool, decent person in spite of. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I might have low-key choked her that day. Like, like for real. Like, I, I just, my brain couldn't really fully process what the fuck was going on. She saw it build it in me. She took off running and ran upstairs. But I just sat there for a minute like, did this bitch really just threaten my fucking daughter? Her granddaughter? And it could be your daughter too? How would you take that? If we argue and I say you get into it with everybody and say, yeah, it could be your daughter too. How would you, like, what? Bitch, I, what? I low key might have, I, I don't know what I was saying, but there is no good in your heart at all. That little shit that happened them years ago with my brother that ruined his career, that ruined everything that he built, that was her. That was her selfish pride because she couldn't be the star, bro. It had nothing to do with my sister. It had nothing to do with shit, bro. She told me I had to put him in his place. My brother lost millions of dollars because you had an attitude. Changed his whole life. He worked hard to build everything that he built by himself. My mom didn't touch none of that shit. My mom gave up on him before he even started rapping. As soon as my brother left school and went back to California, my mom was done with him. And then showed back up again when she seen him on BET trying to ask for something. And then when he gave, he was giving her little bits. Giving her 10 bands here, 5 bands there. She like, no, I need a car. I need a whole fucking house. I need this and that and some more shit. Nigga, you left me in a car. My brother almost died sleeping in a car, nigga. And this motherfucker was asleep fucking in a house a big ass house still got a big ass house bro but then want to show up and ask hey this shit crazy bro blueface brother dre exposing everything and i believe it like i don't put nothing past it. how the hell are you gonna say that you're gonna put hands on his daughter like what like bro a woman like that who take no accountability think everything she says right i don't care if she's my mother or who like i'm I'm keeping my distance. Like, once you show who you is multiple times, what you about multiple times, and you take no accountability, she never get online and say, man, I ain't had to say this or I apologize for saying that. She don't, she don't apologize for saying shit. All she do is get online and promote drama and lies and bullshit. Now none of her kids want to be on that weak-ass show. Now she got to try to find some other people. Like, bro, ain't nobody watching that shit anyway, bro. Like, that's nigga. The shit that he had to go through. Now I see why, like, like when Blueface, he left college, he went back to California. He didn't want to be nowhere near his mama. He ended up getting on, being famous. Then the mama moved back. Once she became successful, trying to get some money out of him. And she's trying to play like, oh, I don't ask nobody for nothing. I just, it's just me and my husband. And then the brother said that the husband was, like, they got in a fight. Like, it was so much shit going on, but they need a whole group family therapy. Or just stay the hell away from each other, bro. Like, so many families is like this toxic as hell. Nobody taking accountability. Everybody fighting. All this bullshit. That's how I feel like it be trauma bonds. Like, like when two people go through so much trauma, it, it, it's like they confide in each other with that. That's how I think how Blueface and Krishan is. Because, like, look at Blueface family. And then, I remember Krishan talking about her family. Her family ain't no better. Like, full of addicts and whole bunch of crazy molesting shit so it's like it's a trauma bond this shit crazy but Carlissa she an evil mastermind like, what y'all think about this boy I mean, I'm not